Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Markets Price Section Trading School Divergence Going with the Flow. So today in this in this session, we will be talking about how to actually trade divergence, and mostly we will be focusing on counter trend opportunities. As we talked last time, we talked about divergence. I mentioned uh, both hidden and regular divergence and reverse or exaggerated divergence. Well, in order to get in and go with the flow, we need to understand how classic divergence is traded, so how regular divergence is traded. And today we'll be focusing on, <clears throat> sorry, on both regular and reverse divergence. We will not be talking about hidden divergence because hidden divergence is only a part of a trend and you spot it with a trend and actually we are going to talk how to spot a counter trend divergence which is a regular or exaggerated reverse divergence. Okay, so before we begin our standard risk disclaimer, explain that online educational materials are available by Admiral Markets Estonia. So if you want to get corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, you should visit Armour Markets Global Selective Country and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risks, you're also proceeding further with me. And, of course, Armour Markets Supreme Edition. Download it and greatly enhance your trading. Uh, in March, we, I will be holding a special webinar where I will be showing you every good and useful feature of Admiral Market Supreme Edition. You can also go to WebTrader at this address. And uh, if you're not sure that your PC can handle the indicators without clogging up your PC, or maybe you're not close to your trading station, then try WebTrader. It's very useful. And don't forget that Mirror Markets has been officially best MT4 broker in UK in 2015. Okay. So final part of this disclaimer, explaining that this webinar is for information and educational purposes only, and it's no way connected to UK website. So three types, five types of divergence and three bullet points. Which divergence to trade and how to trade divergence. So this is what we will be talking about today. These are, guys, five types of divergence. We have regular, hidden, and reverse. Then we have both bullish and bearish. So we say that there is five types of divergence. Reverse divergence can be both bullish and bearish but it's actually traded and it's actually a bit different than standard types. We will go through that today. So pay attention, mostly pay attention on regular divergence because that is a type of divergence you will go with counter trades. Also reverse bearish or bullish is also type of divergence where you will go with counter trades. Okay? So remember, hidden is trend continuation type, regular is reversal type. Regular divergence is the most frequent and usually the earliest sign of trend reversal. If price is making a lower low and oscillator is making a higher low, that is a regular bullish divergence. Okay? The thing is that you don't need a series of lower lows. You need only one low to be lower than the previous lows. And that's easily spotted by MACD indicator. Okay? So this is a bullish, regular bullish divergence. Price is going down while indicator is going up. Hidden divergence and hidden bullish divergence is trend following type of divergence. So hidden bullish divergence will happen when price is making a higher low, but the oscillator is showing a lower low. So that can be seen when the pair is in uptrend. Hidden bullish divergence hints to the chart continuing to go up. Okay, this is hidden bullish divergence. Regular bearish divergence 
is when price is making a higher high, but the oscillator is making a lower high. So that is a regular bearish divergence. Found, it's found near the tops. It looks like a megaphone, and it's very easily spotted. And I want you guys, I want you to know that you need to spot divergence manually. It's much better than having an indicator. Back in time, I also used some indicators for divergence. And to be honest, during the last couple of years, it's much better to spot it manually with MACD CAM indicator. Especially because the double line MACD is very good in spotting and capturing those peaks and valleys of regular divergence. So I'm very keen now today, very keen to, to spot it manually. Although I, I have some indicators for spotting it with indicators, but uh, I, I really prefer to do it manually. It's easy and it's, you know, you can always say, I know how to, to spot divergence. It's much better for you because you will actually learn what divergence is by spotting it with your eyes, not by indicator. Hidden divergence, bearish divergence tells us that the price and charts will go down. And hidden divergence, bearish divergence happens when price makes a lower high and the oscillator is making a higher high. It looks like this. And finally, reverse divergence. It's a special type of divergence. We have exaggerated or reverse bearish and reverse bullish divergence. And the only difference is, is that reverse divergence creates double tops or bottoms. This is bearish divergence. You have double top or something similar to double top. It doesn't need to be a perfect double top at the price. So something similar. But the oscillator should show a lower high. So double top or double topish price and an oscillator or MACD which shows a lower high. And the reverse bullish divergence, we have double bottom. We have double bottom at the price or something similar to double bottom. As I say, it doesn't need to be perfect. And, and MACD will sh should show higher low. So I have also prepared a cheat sheet for you. So you will see it later. And it, this is easy, guys. Believe me. Look at the charts like this. There is a logic in this. Look at this. This is double top. And here the price... It does not show a double top, it is showing a lower high. So both lines are found at the tops. The first line is found at the price top and the second line is found at the indicator top. And look at this, very easy, right? Double bottom or double bottom is price and oscillator bottom is going up. It has a steep angle. So it's a higher low. So you can also snapshot this and cheat sheet will be available for, uh, for uh, hidden and regular divergence. So this is it. Try to memorize this because this will be useful if you want to take some counter trade opportunities. I know that this is very, very useful. So... Okay, pay attention to that. Now, live chart, I will show you how to actually trade the divergence. And by watching the live broadcast now, you will learn how to actually enter a trade. Okay, I didn't prepare any text for this because I want you to follow me and watch the examples. First of all, you need to identify historical tops and bottoms. 
if you see a divergence like this this is as you can see here I have marked it here very easy to spot with this indicator you can see that this is a regular bearish divergence here divergence was confirmed at the close of this candle so the first step towards trading divergence is how to spot it you always want to wait for the candle close you cannot see a divergence if you don't see a candle close guys think about it so the first step is candle close and then spot the divergence this is it so we have spotted the divergence our next step is to see historical price action so draw the line at the top open four hour daily chart okay very easy we can see it on four hour chart the price has been rejected a lot of times from this level so from historical versus now moment perspective it's valid okay it's valid when you see that there was some historical selling at this level you know that this level is good to short into but you need to wait you now there there are two types of trading divergence if you see a pin bar like this it's very clear guys this is selling so you can try to enter immediately in a sell trade because this is a pin bar this is important level here definitely okay and you see that there is really a strong rejection here so you can enter immediately but what you also can do is to wait for either a trend line break or two line cross now obviously you will be a little bit behind the price if you trade across this is your crossover here okay this is your crossover so you might be a little bit later in the entry but you can also trade with a trend line there we cannot see any trend line except for very steep trend line like this which is not very valid because of this one also so we cannot find a good trend line here because of that guys you need to think manually you need to think and to trade it manually so when this price rejects for historical level if you place your order here your stop loss will not be that high if you wait for a cross here and it's basically the cross has been confirmed let's see here again your stop loss would be a little bit higher so it's up to you how you will decide this is the time when you see this to use your brain and to use your technical analysis how I how I let's say if I trade divergence I mostly don't trade it but from time to time I might open a counter trend opportunity how I do it usually is if I see that the price has made really 20, 200 150 or 200 pips in trend direction this is probably a good time for a retracement because this is a uh, counter trend opportunity you need to place the targets and you go with Fibonacci so place your Fibonacci accordingly and go with the targets because this is let's say that this was your entry here your first target would be either this one or this one because the price will retrace towards trend retracement levels and trend retracement levels are found through Fibonacci appliance 
Caesar is asking, what is your MACD settings? 12.26.9. Caesar, you can see it here. 12.26.9. And the thing is, guys, this is why I'm, I'm showing you how to manually trade it. You need to use your logic. So first step, find the divergence, then go on higher time frame, see that if there was rejection. Okay, then we go to step number three. Okay, open a trade here, and finally place Fibonacci retracement. Because the price is here in uptrend, and you are trading counter trend. So you need to know where the price will stop. 27 pips for counter trend opportunity, not bad at all. When this level breaks, you can place your profit stop around the zone and go with bigger profits, 34. Usually when I go with counter trend divergence, if I trade it, I don't go for a big, big number of pips. I usually go with next levels of support, which is indeed Fibonacci ratio. You never know if the price can reject from some of these Fibonacci ratios, especially if there is a confluence with other trend indicators. Ethan is asking, how do I get MACD with stochastics? I didn't understand you, Ethan. This is MACD. This is not stochastic indicator. This is MACD indicator. And this is my MACD cam. If you want, uh, if you want it, I can send you. Just send me an email and request. So this is one example. We will be covering examples today, guys, so pay attention. Okay? Let's go to next example. Next example is reverse bearish divergence. We can see reverse bearish divergence here. We have a form of double top. Really, this is this looks like a double top, triple top. But look at this. The oscillator is going down. So this is bearish divergence. Again, place a line here and see if there were any rejections within this zone. Four hour, yes, we know that there were rejections. Okay, then again, you might open a trade initially when the candle closes. That way you will be ensuring good risk to reward because see there is not a big range between the close of the candle and the resistance. Or you can wait for a two line cross here. But you will be late in the entry, you see? Late. Okay. Again, the same rules apply. I would go with previous swing. And obviously you are at 23.6, so your target could be here. Also try to spot some confluence with target. Here we can see four hour and confluence. So this could be your target, second target for potential 50 pips. See, sometimes the price will proceed to lower retracement levels, but don't forget that when you're trading divergence, regular types of divergence and reverse type, you are going with counter trend opportunity. Okay? Let's find other examples. We won't be talking about hidden divergence because I want you to understand the principle of trend, uh, counter trend divergence. And later during the price action training school, I will definitely be showing you hidden divergence. But that will be a part of the confluence because you don't trade hidden divergence by itself. It's always the part a part of the confluence. Uh, the blue line here is basically when you, when you go to colors, you change this column to blue, Aten, and you will have a blue line here. Just change the color to blue. Okay.
Let's find other example, guys. Okay, you just need to scan through those pairs. Here we have hidden divergence, but we won't be trading it, you see. Actually here, from this spot on, there is divergence. But we won't be trading it here. Let's see other types, regular and reverse. Okay. This will be your homework also. So neglect all those regular divergences. Okay. Here. Let's see if I have it here. Okay, the price is going. Okay, we don't see any divergence here. The price is okay here, here. Yes, here. Regular bearish divergence. See? So place a line at the top. Now open four hour time frame. Watch the past. See, guys, how this is good. Look, how many rejections in the past. Watch this. Okay. Next step. Open a trade immediately. This is pin bar rejection here. Look at this. Pin bar rejection. Okay, in one hour it's... Same. Big rejection after this candle. So you can always go for candlestick pattern here. And one hour chart is so showing a good entry here. Look at this. This is a form of bearish engulfing. Look at the body. It's very, very big. And clear sign to go short. And you can wait for trend line break, but you will be... A bit late in the, you see, you can wait for this trend line break, which will be formed subsequently. You can go like this also. It does not need to be perfect. Just to give you a visual cue. See, there is breakout retest here. But usually best risk to reward will be after you enter immediately or a candle confirmation after. Because this is a candle confirmation. Bearish and golfer. And look at this. Trend line break or two line breakout. Two line crossover. This is it. Two line crossover. Jeffrey, good question. If historical data does not show a strong resistance level in this example, should we wait or analyze entry before? If you don't see historical data you don't trade divergence that is very important because divergence will happen every so often but you don't know if the level where divergence happens is good or not because of that you need to see historical rejection in the past near past or somewhere in the past but it should be very clear like this one it's very clear look at this scholastic example if you don't see this well don't trade it and it's good to wait for a confirmation like this okay let's use one hour chart because we trade it on intraday you can go with four hour but i go usually with intraday entries okay like this Engulfing candle and bang, it, it goes down. Okay? It's very, very good. Now, let's see other example. We will scan through these guys, and by scanning like this, we, did, we don't cherry pick examples. It's good for you to learn how to spot divergence. It's always good for you. Another divergence here. And I want you to understand. That is why I'm showing you this way. 
Look at this. Again, hidden divergence. Sorry, regular divergence at the top. Regular bearish divergence. Where is our confirmation? Here. Here it is. Look at this. Bang, down. Another run. But let's find other pair. This is getting boring indeed. Let's find other pair. Euro dollar is okay, guys. Same here, same price section, similar price section. Look at this. You see how it's easy to spot it. You don't need indicators for this. Okay, look at this. This could be a good entry here. Price broke through this level here. Momentum candle. And like this. Because the price was in uptrend, you always need to place Fibonacci. See? Straight to 38.2. I usually go with 23 or 38.2. Uh, 23.6 or 38.2 because I don't want to be caught in a counter trend opportunity uh, for a long time. Sometimes counter trend opportunities can give you even better pips, more pips than standard trend opportunities. As in this example. Let's find other examples, guys. Okay, we will go again step by step. Okay, this is not divergence. Price up, oscillator up. So don't, not, not, this is not a divergence. Okay. Let's go with Australian dollar, for example. Mm -hmm. Scanning through this. Okay, do we see a divergence here? Definitely, guys, there is a divergence. Look at this. A regular bullish divergence. Ilya is asking, make the divergence isn't necessary because we see with eyes the pin bar candles at price levels. It is. Ilya, you need to see this. You need to see this. Look at this. This is divergence. This is not divergence, Ilya. There is no divergence here. The price, there is not divergence of this type. This is hidden divergence. Okay? Hidden bullish divergence here. See here, hidden bullish divergence. But you need MACD to identify price rejections and possible trend reversals. You see, this is hidden divergence, but this is not a regular. Make the advantage is to it shows you divergence perfectly. That is, MACD is a lagging indicator. It is capturing the trend perfectly, and it is used for momentum and direction and divergence. And MACD, in my opinion, is far the best indicator for showing divergence. It's also described in the book, William Blow, my favorite trading book. I, I am, I am, I am writing about, I, I, I've been writing about top five trading books. The article will be published on this Sunday, so stay tuned. And guys, you can see now the difference. Here, you see, this is, hidden bull this is regular bullish divergence okay
So it's very important for you to understand these principles. Hidden bullish divergence tells you that the chart will continue, but we are not talking about that. We are talking about reversals. And here it is. See the price dropped. See the price dropped heavily and very, very obvious divergence. Should we trade it? Let's see. Yes, Ilya William Blois is his name, indeed. Look at this. Mark the level first to see if it's tradable. First, open four hour chart. Zoom out. Okay, look at this. Huge historical buying here. Well, guys, it's a no brainer, right? It's a no brainer because you can trade these the divergences like this one. Okay, you can trade it definitely here. See historical price action. A lot of rejection. Well, in a strong trend, uptrend, you don't want a divergence which is not confirmed by historical level. Open your daily or weekly chart. And let's say, for example, that you see divergence here. And there is a strong rejection now here. Would you trade divergence at this level? Mecca, it will help you. But you need to know when to put a counter trend opportunity. And I'm not talking about central bank interventions. Because if you see a central bank intervention, the price can go six, seven hundred pips instantly. I'm just talking about, simply put, simply put, normal price action. And if you see a big trend, and that trend has a resistance at weekly chart, how, what would you do? Really, it's good to, to try to counter trade it. It's called fading the strength. And you're effectively trying to fade the strength at the level which was historically proven to be a strong selling spot like this one. So before you even place a trade, always check historical level and you don't go for a huge number of pips. Let's use a, another example. And we will go again step by step. Alexa is saying congratulations for yesterday's setups. Thank you, Alexa. And you probably mean uh, Monday setup or the analysis. I don't know. Everything was good most of the time. So thank you. Uh, I think you're referring to both. Ha, thank you, Alexa. Thank you. Well, yes, dollar cad. We had, a re yeah, dollar cad yesterday. We had a really good week again. So I hope that it will continue. So great. Okay, Ilya, this is it why you need to watch to watch for divergence. Look at this. But this is not divergence. That is why you need to watch MACD. You see? This is not divergence. Although the price rejected, but look. So this is not divergence. Okay, let me just snapshot it fast, okay. Let's find other example. Okay, Euro Yen. Let's find a strong uptrend or downtrend. I would really love to see an opportunity. Okay, this is it. Look at this. Here, <laughs> reverse bearish divergence. Price is made a double top. Look at the indicator here. At this time, we need to watch it here. It started to go down. So this is better representation. 
here and here. It started to go down. It already started to go down. So this is reverse divergence. Jeff is asking for divergence, I use MACD. In my opinion, MACD works the best, but it's my opinion. In my analysis, MACD is working, works the best. Alex, uh, my MACD settings are 12.26.9. Okay, when you spot divergence, what did we say? Watch historical price action. Wow, a lot of rejections in year past. Look. And look now the strong uptrend. Look, the uptrend was good. But here, reverse divergence, which was proven in the past. And, of course, see, here is your entry. Or you can wait for a cross of MACD. But very often when I see this, I go immediately. And I don't go for a big number of pips. Again, targets are last swings. So this was the last swing. We don't take this. This can also be a swing, but it's too close. So that is why I have taken this one. This one is too close. And look at this. Perfect touch of 38.2. Ilya, yes, Ilya, just send me a request on my email and I will send you MACD indicator. Just send me a request on my email. So guys, one more example and you will need to do it yourself. This will be your homework. Next price action training school will be about questions and answers. So if you see any questions, if you need any question for previous five lessons, don't hesitate to ask me. And please do your homework. This will be your homework. Let's find one more example and we are good to go then. Okay, I'm scanning through this, and you will see, it will be easy for you when you get a bit of experience. It will definitely be easy for you guys. See, no diversions here. Okay, this is again hidden divergence here price goes up oh strong rejections could be some see there is no divergence here guys there is no bullish divergence here we need to see price going down oscillator going up yes here one more Strong downtrend. Here is divergence. Regular bearish, uh, regular bullish divergence. Mark your low. Open four hour time frame. Yes, in the past it has some okay, corrections. You see, not a big correction. So you don't expect a big correction in the past. What did I say? The biggest advantage of Forex market versus other markets is price repeats itself. Don't forget it, never. And now Fibonacci retracement. Okay, it's downtrend from top to bottom. 38.2 is our target. You enter here or here at the close 38.2 touch okay so it's always important to watch for historical levels and then when it, it when you see that there was some rejection in the past you put the fibonacci and go with 23 or 38.2 target don't forget regular divergence is counter trend Jeffrey, yes, 
he's asking is divergence trade only used in trend not in range yes we only use it in trending markets to go with counter trend opportunities regular divergence is for counter trend opportunities don't forget it hidden divergence is for continuation and it's only used as a part of the confluence okay so is it clear guys I want you a straight answer is it clear if it's clear and you don't have any questions I will show you the spreadsheet the cheat sheet and you can use it to your advantage so this is it guys cheat sheet snapshot it please so this is summary you know that and this is cheat sheet regular bullish regular bearish hidden bullish hidden bearish once more regular bullish regular belly bearish hidden bullish hidden bearish regular for counter trend types hidden for trend types and bullish reverse for counter trend bearish reverse for counter trend okay so we learned about divergence we learned how to trade it homework demo trade divergence guys please i want your results i want some results till next two weeks if you have anything which is not clear send me your questions because next price action trade school will be questions and answers for the lessons five to ten mecca is asking in a good trading system how much would represent divergence 10 or 20 percent there is no trading please don't think about trading systems trading systems rarely use divergence because if a trading system will only use divergence it will not be that profitable you need to understand the price action principle and mecca i am teaching you how to trade price action and there is no per percentage of divergence there is only is it the divergence at the strong level or is it not if if divergence is at strong level then you can try to place a counter trend opportunity if there is a divergence but it's not on strong level and i mean strong i mean it, it didn't show in the past then you don't take the trade you always want first rule is you always want to spot historical versus now moment price action if divergence was confirmed then you move on to higher time frames and see if there was the actual rejection from that same level in the past if there was a rejection in the past you trade divergence if there was no rejection in the past you don't trade it because that is not a strong level usually the best divergence trades are after price has moved 100 150 pips or the, look at the trick guys let's use blank chart and let's use my indicator I, I know that you have this indicator uh, if you don't have it again as always I can send it to you a a DTR calculator okay like this this is indicator for range now what I do is look at this indicators list I put ATR period of 14 14 days now you see today's is 108 ATR of 14 is 102 if this level is broken and we see a divergence then then is one big step that divergence can be good ah you don't see sorry here this is the indicator a i adtr calculator here atr period 14 you just place 14 okay close and you see 
now of course there is FOMC and now it's not frozen screen Caesar it's not frozen you can see the screen now so here you can see it here and 14 like this okay and you see uh, today ATR is 108 ATR of 14 days is 102 if this level breaks more than 108 there is one additional confirmation that uh, divergence can be good because it already went uh, above 14 days of price action range and then you compare it to the past data so this indicator can help you also if you see 100 people pull back let's see, say this is downtrend for example and you see a big pullback here and you see a divergence usually it will give you some pips try to demo trade it so guys if you want this indicator you can ask for it just send me an email okay it's a not standard indicator Caesar it's a it's a custom indicator so just ask for that so guys I, I hope that this is clear so I want you to understand this practice it ask your questions and next time in 14 days I will answer it okay now we have FOMC don't trade during FOMC dollar yen is at POC but I am very I won't trade it I just gave some hints today that dollar yen will reach this level if you read my analysis and dollar yen jumped from 140 to 190 I, I expected it and I, I knew that this level is now very strong because it's POC zone so it will be either break it down or break it down Elmira don't send me your email here please send me an email please send me an email with a request for the indicator okay uh, Ilya I advise you to close dollar cat really because that will be very volatile close your trades guys and enjoy you don't need to trade every single opportunity and every single day today there will be volatile day I think euro dollar might go up dollar yen could go lower and uh, FOMC is in one hour so be ready thank you for your comments thank you Elvira okay thank you Elvira and uh, you I don't see any questions so sign up for more webinars as always I like when you make pips and I love when you when I see such great comments my job is to educate you and give you best possible analysis and we at Admiral Markets really stand in your support so thank you guys thanks a lot I will see you soon be ready for FOMC and don't trade don't over trade Cheers, as always, straight safe.